everyone, we're nearing the end of the month. And if you've been a long time watcher, then you know this is the time when I go through this month's favorites. They're not the best sellers. They're not what's new and exciting. Sometimes they are. These are my personal top 20 picks from the categories of clothing, accessory, lifestyle and home and beauty. And I'm just giving you my favorites. So you can call them monthly favorites. You could call it my top 20 of the month, but regardless, I'm really excited about each and every one of these. I'm breaking them down into categories. We're gonna start with clothing, and if you're a beauty lover, then stick around to the end, because that's how we're closing this out. So, everything is listed down in the description box in the order in which I talk about it here. It's also pinned to the top of the comments, and as always, if you're curious in anything you see around here, I list that at the very end as well. All right, let's scooch over so we can pop in some pictures and talk about my top five clothing picks for August 2024. I should add that even though I'm giving you a top five, these are listed in no particular order. So for number one, this lined raincoat is fabulous. Raincoats aren't necessarily fashionable. They need to be functional. I feel like this one straddles both lines. It does come in quite a few colors. I love the longer length, so your bum is covered. There is nothing more annoying than sitting down outside on something wet and your tush gets wet too very uncomfortable feeling. So I like that this comes all the way down, has a drawstring at the waist if you want a little more shape. Love the hood, it's nice and generous, but it stays up when you pull it tight so you can be hands-free. You don't even necessarily need an umbrella when you're wearing this one. It's also not super, super heavy. This is not gonna replace a winter coat. It's the perfect fall weather coat. Number two, wouldn't surprise me if this ended up on the best sellers list for August as well. I haven't looked at those stats yet to confirm because we're technically not all the way done with the month yet, but this striped, actually it's more of a textured tee from Maurice's, has been one of the most requested links for the whole month. And I have to say, I've had to physically stop myself from reaching for it over and over. And when I went onto the Maurice's website to get the info for this, I did notice that I think this exact color is sold out, but, it still comes fully stocked in four other colors, which is great news because I'm gonna go pick up at least one more. And they just released it in the long sleeve version as well. So can't wait to start planning some outfits around that. I'm gonna put in an order for the long sleeve version. It's so soft. It looks really kind of elevated, a little more sophisticated, but it's a basic tee and it's just gonna go with so many things and it was a definite fave for this month. Another piece of clothing I had to physically stop myself from reaching for were these, they're calling them high-waisted. It just comes to the belly button. It's not crazy high-waisted, but they're high-waisted wide leg cuffed jeans. Now, Walmart has a version of these that I absolutely love but these are a little bit different in that the material is a little more heavy, it feels more of a traditional denim weight. I just love that it comes in three lengths, so you get short, regular, and tall, sizes regular through plus, so it's just easier to find the right fit. If you don't love the crop style, which is the version they have at Walmart, then this one is definitely for you. Now, I do have fall on the brain because I did just come back from a week in Vermont where the temperatures were absolutely glorious but it's still really hot where I live. So this dress was definitely a standard for the month and I have a feeling I'll be reaching for it all through September as well. It doesn't look like we're gonna get a real break in the heat anytime soon. I have talked about this dress a ton, but just to sort of recap, I love this dress. I love the racer back cut of it. I love that it has built in lightly padded bra, so everything's supported and held up. I love the full skirt pockets and it's that dry wicking sort of material so it's very travel friendly really great for this time of year but it will layer well under a denim jacket a denim shirt a cardigan a blazer all the things that you can think of and can be really versatile moving into the fall months as well and then i'm going to finish my clothing favorites with another one that i'm pretty sure is at the top of your list as well for august these wide leg knit cargo pants from walmart oh, talk about something you want to live in every day and you can because they come in a bunch of colors. I picked them up in the navy. I want them in the black. I think they come in olive, and I think two or three other colors as well. They appear to be fully stocked on the Walmart website, which is pretty exciting. So let me know of these five things before I get to the best sellers, which will happen in September. Did you grab any of these? Did these hit your favorite list as well? Now let's talk about my favorite accessories from the month of August. I love these enamel earrings from Kendra Scott. I originally shared these during the fall trends video in the green, but I love this so much. These are enamel earrings. They're super lightweight and they, like I said, they come in the green. I got them in navy 
I got them in red. I may have picked them up also in pink. May have, no, obviously I'm holding them, I did. Here it is to scale. So they could be a statement earring, but they're really lightweight. You could definitely wear them every day just to add a pop of color to your outfit. Great to show school spirit, team spirit, what have you, or to just bring in a color trend that you are enjoying. Number two, I have over here used this so much. So this is the J. Crew oversized cashmere scarf. And I have gotten some really good questions over on DMs on Instagram. If you ever need me right away to answer something, it's more likely to get my attention by sending me a direct message over on Instagram than commenting here. It's just the way I get alerts. But a lot of you have been asking me, what's the difference between this and the quince cashmere wrap that I love. And I will tell you, the quince wrap that I love is a cashmere silk blend. So it's tissue weight. It's meant for more of like a light wrap for a summer evening or more formal event. This is cashmere. This is a scarf. This feels like a very lightweight blanket or throw almost. So this is gonna be better if you're moving into fall and winter and you want to actually stay warm. This is what you're gonna want and you can also, you know, double it. It's meant to be worn as an actual scarf or, you know, it gets really big. You could wear it almost like as a throw. I was so cold on the plane home from Vermont. I literally wrapped myself up, pulled it over my head. I did like the whole, <laughs> I actually pulled it down over my eyes so that I could have like full darkness on the plane. It was a little ridiculous, but it worked really well. And it's, it is thinner, so there's not a lot of bulk, but it's cashmere, so it's warm. It goes on sale all the time, so definitely check for that. I would not recommend getting this full price. If you really, really want this, wait for a sale. They happen almost every weekend. There are two pairs of shoes that made my top five this month. The first are these loafers from Sam Edelman. I just think they're really classic, beautiful. I like the way the toe is shaped. I like the gold hardware. I really love the soles. They are a nice rubber, so you can walk with confidence, super comfortable. The suede just molds to your feet straight out of the box. I would say go with your true size. Now, this next pair of shoes, I get it. They're, they're a splurge. They're, I'm not gonna apologize, I love them. I will link some similar looking ones that are more budget friendly, but I did cave and get the Veronica Beard slip-on sneaker. These are a true slip-on. These shoe laces aren't hidden or something. They really just, you just pull up the tongue and slide your feet in. I saw these on a woman at the airport just a few weeks ago when we were flying home from Chicago and I had to stop her and ask her where she got these shoes. So I love them. They come in quite a few other colors, but it was this color combination in particular that I really liked and I will list the exact shade because a few of you were asking me down in the description box. I should probably tell you why I love them other than that I just like the look of them. Do you see how thick this sole is? It gives you a little bit of a lift. It also kind of looks a little like a driving moccasin there, but I like this little lift because I tend to wear these, like I said, when I travel or with wider leg sort of athleisure pants that sometimes are just a little too long. I'm only five foot four and this little extra height just lifts me up enough so that I can wear my longer pants without them dragging on the ground. That is, that is legitimately why I love them. It's a good reason, I think. I hate the term girl math. It implies that we as women are not smart enough to do traditional math. So I will say creative math. <laughs> I have justified the cost of those shoes because of the savings I'm getting by not having to pay for alterations for my longer pants. Creative math not to grow math. And the last of my accessories favorites, I don't have any to show you because I just did a load of laundry, so I'll pop in a picture. They're the Bombas Lightweight No-Show Socks. I obviously would prefer to wear socks when I'm wearing shoes like this and even when I'm wearing my loafers and usually my feet get super hot in whatever no-show socks I try. And you all have been asking me for years to recommend a no-show sock and I haven't because I haven't found one that I loved. Finally, I listened to many of you who said, Marnie, try the Bamba socks. What is wrong with you? So I did. And I can attest, the lightweight no-show socks are fantastic. They do, in fact, not show. They are lightweight. My feet did not get overheated, and I had two extremely long travel days to and from Vermont. And they don't have that seam at the, across the top of your toes, which it's, it's sort of like the seam that goes right down the middle of your lady parts in many pairs of leggings. Why would you put a seam anyway? Bombas knows what they're doing when they're designing socks. Yes, they are pricier than what you can pick up from Amazon or Walmart or whatever, 
but I can't, I get it. I get it now. Let's talk about some lifestyle or home favorites. So I forgot to share this during my Amazon haul, but as you can see, I'm wearing my glasses and probably will for quite a while. And I wish I could link to these directly. They're an older frame, but the frame name is called Michael Kors and Gila. So maybe you can find them at your local optometrist, but these are not the favorite. I'm not thrilled that I have to wear my glasses, but this little gadget, it's called Peeps. I was gonna say Peepers. It's a Peeps, not the candy, love those too. But obviously they get dirty. So this has a little brush that comes out and first you're supposed to, you know, just like brush off any obvious dust or dirt, whatever. Okay, that's cute. But then you pull out this thing and it has these little pads and you just, put them one on each side of your glasses and you don't squeeze super hard and you just kind of move it around and it totally cleans your lenses really, really well. I had been using like one of those lens cloths that you get with you know sunglasses and stuff and it was doing okay, but I did find that it eventually after a few uses just smears whatever oil or dirt is already on there. It just smears it all around. So what I like about this is that every time you put it back in the case, it recharges, it like wipes them clean. Did you hear that click? There's something in there that wipes them clean and so they're good for another use. Also, I just wanna add that I'm aware it's getting darker as I speak. I'm hearing thunder every time I turn on the camera. I think I could solve the drought issue in San Antonio if I just made more videos. Okay, I'm joking, but anyway, love this thing. If you wear sunglasses or glasses on a regular basis or even reading glasses, this little guy is definitely worth it and very purse size friendly as well. This might be the weirdest thing I've ever recommended. So this is a stuffed animal. This is the West Highland White Terrier. It's a little scruffy because Rowdy's been carrying this around like it's his baby. In fact, I'll insert the Instagram story frame I took of it. We saw this in the gift shop at the hotel where we were staying and I just had to have it. Yes, I'm a grown woman with no children that are young enough to play with stuffed animals, but I got this thing. I did know that Rowdy was gonna eventually uh, appropriate it as his own. But if you are looking for possibly one of the most realistic dog stuffed animal toy brands I've ever seen, they have a version of every dog on the planet and some dogs have multiple versions. The brand is carried on Amazon, it's called Douglas. It's called the Cuddle Toy and incredible. And unlike really good stuffed animals, this, is, this one's about $30, so a really, good price considering. So I just wanted to recommend it. If you're a dog lover or you have a dog lover in your life, find their favorite breed. And I mean, they even have you know, mixed breeds, all kinds of great dogs. So had to recommend that one. I also wanted to recommend this backpack. Now this is the MZ Wallace version. Quince has released their own version that looks very much like this as far as I can discern from their website. I haven't gotten my hands on it yet to say it's an exact dupe, but Quince, I'm definitely planning a haul for September. They have just been launching one thing after another. I'll place, probably place my order later this evening, but let's focus, Marnie, get it together, on this, this travel backpack. I had retired it for larger bags, and I realized recently that my 16-inch laptop does fit in this. I love all the features about it. I feel like it's a little more user-friendly, and I feel like this is a great bag to have on the trip as well. There were a few days where I had to actually work, get my laptop out, do some, do some work, and I could just throw all my office work type stuff in here and bring this down to the lobby, set up at one of their tables, and get work done. So this is really handy for not just travel, but school and work as well, and so I wanted to give a shout out to this guy. I used it quite a bit this month, and probably I have some more trips planned. We'll be using it quite a bit in the next couple of months. I mentioned this in my Amazon finds, and I'm still really enjoying this. This is an olive oil, or any oil really, sprayer and dispenser. So if you push on the lever here, it, oh, oh crap. If you push on the lever, it sprays. <laughs> I don't know if you just saw that shoot across the screen. All right, we'll clean that up later. And then there's a little lever here that if you pop that open, then you can pour to dispense it. So you get to pick. I know it's not as pretty as the stylish bottles, but it is really, really functional. And then my last lifestyle slash home favorite, literally never got used in the home. This is my travel mirror. And this really came in handy. We had terrible lighting in our hotel room, not a great setup anywhere to do makeup. And it is harder for me to see without my contacts in, if I take my glasses off to put on my makeup, 
the distance thing so that I could get right up close and personal with this and even pop out the little 10 X mirror so I could really get in there so I could see what I was doing it was very, very helpful. And you just charge it with the USB thing here. I charged it once before we left on our trip and it is still lighting up. There you go. So it still works. Let's close things out with Beauty. So this is a relatively new launch from Tarte and you've heard me, I think, talk about it or at least I showed it on my lips in some video. This is their Tarte Maracuja Plumping Oil. I specifically love it in the shade Mixed Berries. If you don't like that tingling feeling on your lips, skip this one, like don't. It's not horrible, it's not like the Too Faced Lip Injection, but it's a minty, slightly cooling, tingly effect. It's on the more mild side, but I just want you to be aware. But it is super lightweight on the lips. It's very moisturizing. Depending on which shade you pick, it can be quite pigmented as well. And most of the time I'm wearing my Invisalign trays, everything's gonna end up on those trays, but this seemed to end up less so than some of the other lip products I have tried. Speaking of lip products that are working with the Invisalign trays, this seems to be the way to go. So this is the new lip liner from the Maybelline Lifter line. They make the best lip gloss, I think, on the planet. And I think, I don't know that this is meant to be waterproof or long wear, but it seems to be. So the shade I'm wearing is the lightest shade. So I just outlined and filled in my lips with this shade called Line Leader. So this is favorite number two. And then I topped it off and have been topping it off with this YSL Candy Glaze, specifically in the shade Sweetheart, that is basically clear, like the lightest of pink tints. So there's a little bit of shine. And this, seems to be the most resistant to transferring on my Invisalign trays. If anything's gonna transfer, it's gonna be the clear balm gloss hybrid thing, which isn't as terrible as like actual lip stain. So I'm, I'm keep researching. As I find stuff that works well with Invisalign trays, I will update you. I have a drugstore favorite that was not my find. This actually came from a recommendation during a discussion via group text that I was having with Kelly and Christina from Mommy's Makeup and Moscato and Lisa Lisa D1. We were all talking about self tanners and all that stuff. And Kelly kept insisting that once you get the base tan going, whether it's a spray tan or a bronzing mousse or whatever, this is what she swears by to keep the tan going and looking more natural. And I finally caved and said, fine, I'll try it. It's the Jurgens Natural Glow, medium to deep. Don't bother with fair to light. That'll just turn you orange. Medium to deep. This is a fresh tan, so I don't know why I'm showing you this, but she's right. It's fantastic. It's drugstore. It's budget friendly. Thank you, Kelly. Excellent recommendation per usual. So it is a favorite of mine for August. And then a new favorite. Love this. Love that it came back. The new Too Faced. It has a really dumb name though. Apple in Love. Apple. See the apples? It's the good old fashioned tin packaging. Beautiful color. Smells like like candy apples, how? I don't know. This is the only palette that I brought with me to Vermont. Obviously, I, if you know me, you know I was not reaching for the actual reds or greens, but the tans, the browns, the beiges, the shimmer shades, beautiful. It's hard to tell because I have my glasses on, but it's what I'm wearing today. Absolutely love it. Love a classic Too Faced palette. And if you like some pops of color, I mean, this shimmery green is really cool. This one, wow. But even, don't be afraid, let's just say, of even like this deep kind of cranberry because let's just say you went a little too overboard with maybe one of the more orange tone shades or maybe you're using a cool palette and it went way too cool and now you look a little corpse-like. With a really fluffy brush, just grab this shade or even this shade, one of the pinkier, warmer shades and lightly brush it over that cool tone shadow and it'll tone it down just a little bit and make your cool tone shadows just a little more wearable. Okay, that turned into a beauty tutorial and I don't know why, but that's it. Those are my top 20 picks, my favorites from the month of August, 2024, September, here we come. I've got lots of great things planned. If you are watching this and you're not subscribed, you can fix that. You just hit that little button down there, subscribe, it's free. There's no commitment there but I would really appreciate it if you did. All right, well, thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you had a wonderful month. Happy end of August. I will see you in September and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.